Hey guys, Mike Fleming, executive chef and owner of Healthy Meals Direct. And today I'm gonna to give you three quick and easy vegetable recipes. We're gonna do asparagus, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. In my experience, vegetables on their second and third day, they kind of, they lose texture, they smell funny, they just don't taste as good. So I'm gonna show you three quick and easy recipes so this way you can make your own vegetables and add them to your already prepared meals. I'm gonna start off with Brussels sprouts. They say Brussels sprouts, um, four of them to a serving. Um, what size though, the large one or the small one? Uh, I have eight here and I'm probably gonna eat them all. Vegetables don't hold uh, very much calories. Uh, they're rich in vitamins and nutrients. Over here, I have two different knives. Traditional chef knife, and this is my favorite knife. You can do anything with it. This is a serrated offset knife. I've been working with knives for uh, many years, and I consider myself very good using them. However, this is never a bad idea. This is a, this is a cut glove. It works best when you wear it underneath a food protection glove. This is a latex glove. And the reason is, this material will kind of hold food, uh, oil, you know, whatever you're working with. But when you put the glove over it, it's now basically waterproof. I don't want to test this out, but if you were to hit your hand with the knife, it's not going to be as severe. You may suffer a little cut, but not if you hit it without the glove. In your local grocery store, sometimes you'll notice that the Brussels sprouts would be stuck to like a stem. So these are just ripped off, but where it connects, you want to get rid of that. It doesn't doesn't have a pleasurable texture and it doesn't taste good either. So we're just gonna snip these ends off. So because some of these are rather large, we're gonna cut them in half so that they cook quicker. If we leave these whole in together, it's gonna take a while for the heat to penetrate the middle. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut them in half like so. The outer layer of the Brussels sprout, this leaf here, when we cut them in half, they kinda just fall off on their own. So this mixing bowl is a little oversized for these few Brussels sprouts, but usually cooking things in large batches. This is just a single serve. Here I have extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna just squirt some of that on top, about a tablespoon. Here we have black pepper, a little black pepper. This is my favorite. This is salt and garlic all in one. Salt to taste, sprinkle all that on top, and we're gonna mix. So now that we have our Brussels oiled and seasoned, we're gonna put them on a tray. So if you use your sheet pans a lot, you'll notice they kind of look like this. And you're really, I can't say for sure what it is. It, it isn't disgusting, it's actually, it's clean, it's baked on and you'll drive yourself nuts trying to clean this off. So we're gonna wrap it in foil. So when we use a foil, it serves two purposes. It makes cleanup easier, because when we're done, we can just remove the foil, throw it away. And we don't have to scrub whatever this is off, which would take a hammer, a chisel, and probably two hours of your time. You're gonna push in the center, using your fingers, you're tracing the foil to the edge. You're gonna wrap it over like so. Turn it around to the other long side, push it to the corners, fold it over, and we have our short edges. So now we have our tray wrapped. We're gonna put our Brussels sprouts on. We're gonna put them flat side down on the foil. This is gonna cause them to kinda fry on the surface. I'm gonna get a little caramelization, and um, that's what I like to call creating flavor. So we're gonna create some flavor by putting these on face down. So most people discard the skin that comes off the Brussels sprout. Let's not throw them away. Let's cook them. They turn into, they turn into like chips, they're crunchy. I guarantee you, this would be the healthiest chip you'll ever eat. Brussels sprout chips. Maybe we could bag these and sell them. Over here, I have a countertop convection oven. Convection ovens cook approximately 40 to 50 degrees hotter than a traditional oven. So make sure if you're using a regular oven to set your temperature 50 degrees higher. Here I have to set it 375 degrees. Anytime you're using an oven, especially a convection oven, and you're only using one tray, you wanna make sure that you don't put the tray on the top, you don't wanna put it in the bottom, you wanna put it right in the middle. Here I have an analog kitchen timer. No one is too good for a timer. We've all burned things because we didn't have a timer set. I'm gonna set this timer to seven minutes. We're gonna bake the Brussels sprouts for seven minutes. So while we're talking Brussels sprouts, these came in the same bag. This is double the size, it's gonna take twice as long to cook. If you're fortunate enough to find all small ones like this, all you have to do is remove the stem connection and you don't have to cut them in half and you can bake them as they are, whole. So our second vegetable we're gonna prep is broccoli. So now we're gonna liberate the good stuff, the broccoli floors. And we're gonna remove the stem. We're gonna liberate our broccoli florets. 
You can leave them large like this, but they take longer to cook. I'm gonna reduce them in size. So here we have our yield. Here's all our florets. This is all ready to eat. Well, kinda. We're gonna season it and cook it with my three favorite ingredients. Oil, salt, pepper, garlic. Such simple ingredients. Why overcomplicate things? That makes anything taste good. Chicken, beef, pork, fish, vegetables. It's all you need. All right, whoa! Brussels sprouts are ready. So now it's time to take our tray out of the oven. This little guy here, I don't know what exactly it's called, but you put just your fingertips in it. So that whole oven mitt that would come down your elbow, that would get kind of, you know, yucky inside, that's done. This is silicone. It's easy to clean. You just put your fingertips in it and you grab your tray. So we're gonna call this my, my alligator sheet pan retriever. That's it, it's my alligator sheet pan retriever. Look at those Brussels sprout chips. So now our Brussels sprouts are ready and most importantly, our Brussels sprout chips. Crunchy as any chip I've ever eaten. Go have another one of those. Delicious. So Brussels sprouts, depending on how you like them, I like mine to have a little crunch. I don't like them when they're mushy, but you can see there how the bottom fry, this was the face side down. I told you to fry a little, you see that caramelization, flavor creation. So I made it, so it's only right that I try it. Came out perfect, medium crunch. I'm gonna have another one. Don't talk with your mouth full, I know. I was at the share, I'm sharing how these are, they're perfect. So now we have our broccoli floor, it's all ready to go, nice and bite-sized. Over here I have an induction burner. This works the same as a traditional stove top. It's just kind of portable, so for display purposes, this is what I'm using. So I'm gonna put this on a uh, medium heat. First we're gonna start with our extra virgin olive oil. Squirt a little in the bottom, about a tablespoon. I'm gonna add the broccoli. black pepper, a little garlic salt, and lastly, a little water. So that we'll get a steaming effect. We'll then put our lid on so that it steams. See the steam building up inside? And you wanna give that four minutes. It's not a bad idea to go in, move this around a little, put our lid back on and let it steam out for the remainder of the two minutes. So our third vegetable is gonna be asparagus. They say asparagus is four spears per serving. Here I have 10, because once again, I don't mean to be redundant, vegetables do not hold a lot of calories. You can't overdo it with vegetables. So when it comes to vegetables, eat up and enjoy. Whoa, look at that, our broccoli's ready. One of the perks of being the cook is you get to try everything. A little hot. Left some crunch, good broccoli. And without further ado, onto the asparagus. When it comes to the asparagus, we have to establish what is the edible part. If you eat closer towards the stem, it has like a bitter taste. So if you hold it back about two inches from the tip and at the stem, you bend until it breaks. This is your usable portion of the asparagus. What you can use as a benchmark is one of the asparagus that you previously snapped. You can put it alongside another and this is where you'll cut with your knife. Because if you have a couple hundred of these to do, you don't want to be standing there snapping 200 of them. I'm gonna line these up, I'm gonna take our knife, I'm gonna cut, and now we have our edible portions of asparagus. So now we're gonna saute our asparagus in extra virgin olive oil, and guess what? My favorite three seasonings, salt, pepper, garlic. I can't help it, it makes everything taste good. You gotta remember, all food has its own flavor, and when you add seasoning to it, you're just waking it up. Okay, so we're gonna put a little extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add our asparagus. Next, we're gonna push them together so that when I apply my seasoning, I'm not chasing individual asparagus all over the pan. First, we'll start with a little pepper, a little garlic salt. I'm gonna keep these moving, hoping to brown multiple sides of them. I can't really put a time on this, but if I, if I absolutely had to put a time on it, I'd say two minutes, two to three minutes. Once again, similar to the Brussels sprouts, asparagus come in all different sizes. These are medium, so these are about two to three minutes. And if you eat this delicious vegetable, your urine is gonna smell different. 
just how it is. I don't make the rules. I just know what happens. All right, so these are done. They've been on here for about three minutes, medium to high heat. Look at that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel for up and coming healthy lifestyle videos. Also, go to our website, healthymealsdirect.com. See you guys soon. Oh, shit, I forgot to eat my asparagus. Delicious.